All right, guys, so time for another cook with me. So you guys all requested, we gave you a choice between shepherd's pie and funeral potatoes. Funeral potatoes won hands down. So we're gonna do that first. I will still do the shepherd's pie eventually. So, but we're just gonna do the funeral potatoes first. And I was actually surprised at how many of you didn't know what funeral potatoes were. So I think they're called funeral potatoes because... Uh, what? You need to get your apron on. Oh. Okay. Go get your apron on. <laughs> okay. All right. That's so I look way more to... legit now? Like yes. I know what I'm doing? Now you look like you belong in the kitchen. That's right. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So I think they call them funeral potatoes because... A lot of people make these for funerals. I know that sounds kind of like bleh. Or you eat so much, you go into a coma. <laughs> food coma. Yes. Food coma. Because that's what I do. No, They're but they so really good. are. Because so many people make, because it makes a lot with just not very many ingredients, super quick and fast and easy. So I'm going to start with the funeral potatoes, and we are also going to make lemon chicken tonight. So. I will do these first, and then we'll go through the lemon chicken and all that. Good you stuff. said easy. When you say easy, you've got to say it the right way. Why? What's the right way? Easy peasy, pumpkin peasy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you've got <laughs> you've got to satisfy our viewers. <laughs> easy peasy, pumpkin peasy. peasy. There, there we go. You go. All right. So I'm just gonna go through the ingredients that you guys need and how much of each and then there should be something on the side here letting you know that way you guys can pause it and kind of write down what you need or we'll just put it in the description or one or the other depends on how uh, much energy Danny has when he's editing this so okay so basically what you need are two pounds of the hash browns okay you can get the like grated ones or these um, diced ones I've always, always done it with the grated ones and just <coughs> started doing it with the dice. I like it better with the dice. The dice are good. You like it better with the dice. Too. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's so not as not like, um, it's not as like, uh, I'm going to say, for lack of a better word, liquidy. Liquidy? Liquidy. You and your juicy and liquidy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but the dice is really good. The dice is good. So I prefer the dice. You guys might like the hash brown ones, like the grated ones. So two pounds, a two pound bag. So this is a two pound bag. You will need this. You will need a half a cup of butter. That's a full stick. You will need um, two cans of the cream of chicken soup. So I only have the family sized. This is a little bit more than two counts. So I won't use this whole thing, but most of it I will. Um, you will need mild cheddar cheese or whatever kind of cheddar cheese you like. I'm trying to see how much. You guys, you know I'm not good with... Uh, whatever your heart tells you. Yes, whatever your heart tells you. Hold on, let me see. You that. want the bag? Put the bag. You want a cup? Two Put cups. A cu okay. Two cups is what it says. <clears throat> you like it cheesier? I'm not gonna judge you. So there's that, and then um, one pint of sour cream, which is two cups. So two cups sour cream. You guys, this stuff is not healthy. We just worked out today, yeah, by the way. We just worked out. That's okay. That's we why we deserve this once in a while. We work out so we can eat. That's, That's right. what we do. That's right. Yes. yes. Even balance. I like it. Yes. And then you guys are going to need cornflakes. So, and that's it. Right? That's it. How many cornflakes? One and a half cups crushed. So I just have mine ready in a bag that I'm just going to crush up. So Do you, have, do you really crush them, crush them? Yeah, or do you, you crush really? Them. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't have to. I've done both. <laughs> no, I know. Because I, yeah. And then I just kind of do a slight crunch. Like I don't make them like little crumbs or anything like that. So. Anyways, those are the, that's all that you guys need for this recipe. So, not horrible, not too badly priced. This stuff isn't expensive. And a lot of this stuff you probably already have in your pantry or in your fridge. So, it's easy just to pull it out. It, you said it, it again. What? Easy peasy pumpkin peasy? Yes. yes. When you say it's easy, you got to say I don't know. I, for, I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, okay? All right. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Really easy. Peasy pumpkin. <laughs> Peasy. Peasy. <laughs> okay, so really all you do now is you mix all the ingredients together. So I'm like keeping myself from saying easy so I don't have to keep saying <laughs> easy peasy pumpkin easy. Pumpkin peasy. Peasy. Not me Sorry, see. Oh, no. Okay. Easy peasy pumpkin oh. easy. <laughs> Whatever. 
ever. Okay, so I start with potatoes. Doesn't matter where you start, what you start with. Look at that apron. That's right. Thank nice. You. Oh, grandma. Thanks, Grandma. All right, so just pour in the potatoes. They're frozen and that's okay. You can totally do this frozen. So potatoes and then two cups of cheese put in there. Do you say potato or, or do you say potato? They're spelled the same. How are they going to tell us? Potato, potato. Potato, potato. If you say potato, put PP. PP? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? No, like I'm pee -pee. trying to eat. Potato. There's no right way to say PP. But they're spelled the same. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh my gosh. Potato, potato, or pee pee. <laughs> if you say potato, write P P, right? No? <laughs> never mind. Don't write anything. Forget it. <laughs> Put oh, an emoji. Man. Some sort of emoji. Not a pee pee emoji. No. <laughs> Oh no. You're such a brat. You're the one talking pee pee. Oh, pee pee poo poo. Go back to you. Oh no. <laughs> I know. If you say potato, put the poop emoji. <laughs> All right, you have it. If you do, oh my gosh. You know what? If you do either one, just put the poop emoji. I don't think most people say potato. Do they? Tomato, tomato, potato. Who said potato? Hey, you just made fun of everyone who says potato. I didn't make fun. I'm just saying. It doesn't seem like most people say potato. Maybe. Whatever. I Tina just wants you to put the poop emoji, <laughs> so just put it. <laughs> hashtag poop emoji. What no, don't hashtag it. Emoji. Why not? Just do it. Everything's got to be a hashtag nowadays, doesn't it? I guess so. I guess so. Hashtag Danny and Tina. Show them what I'm doing in Shishamusha. Just show them the food, not my face. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Here's your shisha musha. Shisha musha. This Look is at what that. we call it. We're gonna shisha musha this. <laughs> Just shisha mush it all together. We're gonna shisha mush you. Okay, so there's the. I think that's probably enough. I don't know exactly, but tastes way it better good. than it looks. It looks disgusting right now, but it's really good. So, kind of fits the setting since we're talking about poo poo and pee pee. Oh yeah, sorry guys. Sorry if we uh, lost your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> We're not professionals, okay? And poop and pee is regular talk in our house. <laughs> you can edit oh, that out. No. Oh, oh, Crap. <laughs> oh, no, oh. see? <laughs> All what right. the heck? Never mind. All oh, right. Man. Anyways, this is delicious, guys. Back to the food. Yes. We cannot be trusted in this kitchen. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is so much I know. Oh, like, Picture that in your belly. Picture this in your. Oh, man. Danny could eat this in like what? no time. What are trying to say? I'm trying to say you can eat. I'm working what? out now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Zip it, boy. All right, you guys. Two cups of sour cream. I oh think my. That's gosh. right. Is that right? Let's see. Shoot. What is, is it that? right? <laughs> well, it looks I like told it has you I'm to not be. A professional here. Oh my hold goodness. On, hold on. Oh yeah, one pipe equals two cups, so we're good. I looked it up, trust me. Ethan were here, he'd be able to tell us. Yes. <laughs> Ethan's a mash, math, mash. Mash? Masher? I'm thinking of mash. Smasher? What? Mashed potatoes. Go take a nap. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> don't tempt me. Actually, you just woke me nap. up from one. I know, I want one. Okay, go. Okay, all right, so you're gonna put four tablespoons of butter aside for the cornflakes, and then the rest of it, you're going to melt. We're gonna do that right now. Boom shakalaka, melted butter. Mm. Look at this, it's gonna go over all this healthy stuff. Emberlyn would like drink this. No, she wouldn't. Yeah. Ew, she doesn't like sour cream. No, the butter. Oh, the Remember butter. in the what's in your mouth challenge she did? She did like the butter. Yeah. All right. Oh my. Then you guys are gonna just stir this This looks this like a up. workout. She's literally grunting. <laughs> Oh, you burped. Burp. It did not burp. <laughs> Knock it off. Oh, so I just mix it all together. Oh, this is kind of a workout. Now, can guys. you use a mixer or no? It has to be by hand. I would do by hand because you don't want the potatoes oh, to Oh, yeah. Like... Okay. Okay. You don't want them to be juicy. I don't know. It seems like everybody in the comments has way better suggestions <laughs> than me. So, you guys, read through the comments if you want, like, 
legit advice. Because <laughs> you know I don't have legit advice. No, but this is so delicious. You're not supposed to agree with that. But, well, I'm just saying this is so delicious whether they take the other advice or not. If they want some good grub, then they you gotta go. listen to you. They gotta do it your way. That's right. That's right. My way or the highway, buddy. Just like life. Just. What? Tina's way or the highway. Yeah, right, I wish. <laughs> there you go. It's not done. It's still got to be mixed. Look at that, guys. Boom. Boom shakalaka. My arms really are tired. I just worked out. I did not throw up this morning. <coughs> I know I shouldn't talk about throw up during this, oh my but gosh. I'm sorry, throw but up, I did poop, it. Throw up, poop, I was proud of myself that I did a workout and I did not throw up. The last one I did. If you guys saw that vlog, I don't know. But, oh, I saw it. Uh, Danny, he was nice though. He stopped working out and he came over and like rubbed my back. Are you okay? And then I said, you okay? Okay, I'm gonna go back now. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You made sure I was all right first. <laughs> but he did go back, I told him to. <laughs> uh, it was embarrassing. <laughs> but, that's all right. Anyways, but. so there it is. But. Butts, throw up. Poop. Poop. Sorry guys. Wow, Serious. we're so unprofessional. That's all right. You guys know what you're getting when you come to us. <laughs> it's not professionalism. <laughs> you, then you're going to put it in a nine by 13 pan and just, can you see what I'm doing here? You're I mean, just gonna slop and drop. Slop and drop. That sounds so <laughs> gross, but that's literally that's with the theme. what you're doing. Oh, preheat your oven to <laughs> 350 for this will take 40 to 50 minutes so preheat your oven you guys we're making this in the middle of the day so tonight this will be ready just to pop in the oven and done like just easy peasy so pumpkin peasy, peasy. nice <laughs> I stopped myself there so then you just kind of flatten it make it all even do 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 See, it kind of makes a lot like this. I feel like our family, well, this will be plenty. And we have company tonight, so I think it'll be. You think? Should we do another one? No, I think it's just good. If it's not, you don't eat, so that's sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> then we'll just, uh, we'll just order pizza. <laughs> yeah. Danny gets pizza tonight. No, because when we did this for Thanksgiving, or for Christmas, it was enough for all of us. Oh, so like, good. And your mom and so stuff was here. So good. Yes, yeah, so. There's that. Now to the last step, which is the cornflakes. Danny's favorite. Crispy, crunchy, munchy. Cookie, walkie, talkie. Cookie, walkie, talkie. Cookie, walkie, talkie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I just have them in a in a Ziploc bag. Stop laughing at me. I have them in a Ziploc bag, and I just I'm just gonna crunch them a little bit, like you know, like it's my face. Yeah. Danny! Danny! Hey, wait, not so much! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you got a little too excited on that one. I did, I did, I did. I did, I did, I did. Um, I think it's got to measure up to a cup and a half. So, I think this is about right. We'll see. I like crunch, so you can never go wrong. Yeah, and so take the rest of your butter and melt that also. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix the cornflake in with the butter. So I'll show you guys. Let me just melt this last little thing of butter. And we got Jasper here looking for leftovers, right? Yep. Shaggy always. baggy. Always, always. We gotta go get him a haircut. Shaggy waggy. Where's our... Where did the measuring cup go? Oh, we have them? <laughs> we have measuring cups? <laughs> we have one. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna. We have hearts, right? Hearts. We measure with Why our are hearts. Why are they so close? We measure with our hearts. Oh yes, that's true. I'm gonna just use these bad boys that we got at Dollar Tree. Look how flimsy these are. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Those would be hey cool, guys. like hey slingshots. Put something in it. Oh, Bow. let's do it. I'll do it right now. No. <laughs> Why? Because. Boom! That would be so awesome. Okay, so we got the butter melted, and we are doing a cup and a half of this. I will measure it out just to be legit and stuff. We're gonna put it in here, and then I'm gonna measure out a cup and a half 
We always like more dishes to wash. Yeah, it's the best since I wash them. Don't you gotta I clean. Stink when you I gotta cook? clean as you go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> you gotta clean he knows as you go. What I'm gonna say. Clean as you go. Don't you guys think that whoever cooks, the other person should do the dishes? I think that's just how it should be. Or no, you could do no like more. I do no and you more. clean as you go. <laughs> you don't clean as you go. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you don't. Put on video. Yeah, whatever. One and a half cups of cornflakes. I can't wait for Danny to do all these dishes. I'm so excited. I can't wait for Braden and Ashton to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dior. <laughs> all right, so just mix it down until like the butter's all soaked into them. I know this might seem weird to some of you who haven't had the funeral potatoes because like cornflakes on your potatoes, I know sounds so weird, but it's actually really delish. And this is actually Danny's favorite part of the dish, I think. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would still have it, it tastes good. But tex like texture is like huge for me. Yeah, Danny's a huge texture guy. Comment below, hashtag texture, <laughs> if you have to have some type of check texture. Like, I wouldn't care if she put like Cheetos on the top. Or Doritos. <laughs> that would be so good. We could try that next time. Oh, yeah, we like should. Like, in his sandwiches, he has to have, like, chips or something in there to make, like, a crunch. Yes. So. Crunchy munchy. Pumpkin munchy. Okay, watch out. <laughs> Snorty warty. Watch out, Jasper. Move Jasper's it. like, no way. Get out of here. <laughs> Come here, Jasper. He's like, nah. Come here. Okay, so then you just top it with, you top your potatoes with this. So I just kind of like, just drizzle it over the top. We might need, we might need more. We might need more. I don't think that's enough. Oh, it's enough. No. Why not? This is what it calls for, babe. This is how I always do it. Ooh, it smells good though. Yeah. Corn flakes and butter smell good, amazingly enough. I know, you guys are shocked, but. Look at that, it's perfect. And then you just go ahead and fill like the holes if you want. That's what I'm saying. You could put more if you'd like. Danny obviously wants more. No, but this is good. It's good, it's good. You don't want too much. You don't want it to overtake everything. You can never have too much crunch. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> Excuse stop. me? Stop it. <laughs> Take it back. Daniel, stop it. Take it back. No, <laughs> never. Don't make me say your middle name. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag, oh, never mind. <laughs> That lost its fire. Do you want to just give my social security number yes, two? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Voila, shish kumba. Look at that. Boom. Okay guys, so I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. Doesn't that look good? It's even better when How it's baked because the you... cheese melts and everything like kind of boils mm. together. It's so good. How long do you, should you preheat it before? So preheat it till your preheat, till your oven tells you it's done. Oh, preheat. you don't time it or anything like that. No, yeah. like usually most ovens tell you like. I don't know how to work these ready. things. Okay, so preheat your <laughs> oven. What did I say? Three fifty. Yes. I have the recipe pulled up here. So food.com has this recipe. We'll put it in the description. Yeah. So we're gonna bake this at three fifty for forty to fifty minutes or until heated and bubbly. So. Bubbly wubbly. Bubbly wubbly. Um, and that's it, you guys. Like, actually, really super duper easy. So we're gonna add, she's gonna add her awesome lemon chicken. So when are you gonna get going on that? Right now. Okay, so now we are gonna do the chicken real quick. So basically what you need is four chicken breasts. We are doing six because they're a little bit smaller. So you guys can do four big chicken breasts. You need lemon juice from a lemon. You need... <laughs> I guess that would be the only place you get it. Shut up. Lemon juice. Me, if you want from the orange. There's maybe from the banana. Oh, you, oh. oh. <laughs> you flinch. Some okay. bananas have the lemon Stop juice. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Okay. So lemon juice from a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and some thyme. Is that how you say it? Thyme. 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 And then melted butter, three tablespoons. And that's it. That's all you need for this recipe. Super, super duper easy peasy pumpkin peasy. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix the lemon juice, which is, let me give you guys the measurements real quick. Um, lemon juice, you need two tablespoons. You need three tablespoons of the melted butter. 
you need one teaspoon of the thyme leaves and salt. You can use salt, one teaspoon of the salt. You can use pepper, half teaspoon of the pepper. I don't have that because I don't care to use it, whatever. Well, we gotta have a little bit of salt. Want some salt? Okay, a little we'll salt put, and pepper. We'll put some salt in Come there. on, a little salt and pepper. Okay, okay. And then it says, it calls for four cloves of garlic peeled and minced. So we just bought some. <laughs> I don't actually do it. So how so, much do you put in? I don't know, we're gonna guesstimate. What would four garlics be? Like, a couple tablespoons? Sure, yeah. sounds good, whatever yeah. your heart tells okay, you. whatever. We cook with the heart, guys, come on. Okay, so that's all you need. So you're gonna mix the thyme, the garlic, the lemon juice from the lemon, and the butter all together in a bowl. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go ahead. And we have more than four um, chicken breasts, so you know, <coughs> if I do a little bit more than what the recipe calls for, that's why. So just juice your lemon. I need a lemon juicer. I know you guys are gonna comment and say, oh, you guys, you guys should get a lemon juicer. I need one. <laughs> we are so totally so, old school. I know, it's so bad. But those lemon things are cool because you get like, you get like the juice out. So. We did just pick up one of those brushes though. Yes, look guys, look at us fancy smancy. Bam. Yes. So that we can, you know. Let us know a brand. It. Is there a brand that I you guys I like? I like? plastic one's better though. Like they have a plastic one. Oh, you should have gotten plastic. Oh, it was like rubber. It was rubber. What's it wasn't better? plastic. Well, that's what I mean. Rubber or like hair. Because plastic wouldn't really this is like bend. Hair. I don't think it matters. But is there a brand? That works better. Yeah, yeah, is there like a brand or a, of a set this. that you guys um, like? Let us know because we'll look into getting that. Or a, Yeah, or a lemon juicer that you like, a specific. I'm sure you can get any, but you know. Does Pamper Chef have one that I should get or something? How about them seeds? They're gone. There's no They're seeds seasoning? in there. Oh. What you talking about, blind boy? <laughs> those, I need are, my... those are bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I need my glasses on. <laughs> okay, so the time it calls for one teaspoon, so we're just gonna guesstimate this. Are you serious? Why? You can at least try. <laughs> Fine. It's right here, I guess oh. I can. But it's so annoying, you have to like... Just don't flick it at me, please. <laughs> I'm gonna... Seriously, okay, if you geez. slingshot but some time to me. Okay, this is ridiculous. We're just gonna open this thing. So what happens when you're running out of this? What do you say? It doesn't even fit. What do you say when you're running out of that? Of this? Yeah. Out of time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, babe. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna do this over here. You have to say, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. <laughs> No. I measured it, one teaspoon. Boom, done. Okay, garlic. Was that a teaspoon or a tablespoon? It was a teaspoon. Ooh, smell. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, Garlic's smell it, good smell it. Me. Smell it, no, but you gotta do it on camera. Smell it. Are you serious? Yes. It smells it's good. Strong, yeah. It is strong though. Okay, I don't so, do well with garlic. What do you think is <clears throat> like four cloves? Like Are that? Oh my gosh. One. Look it up. I'm gonna just, like, I'm gonna go easy on this. It smells very potent. Okay, that's enough. You think so? All right, so it looks like we've got uh, some garlic in there. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, just go buy cloves. Yeah, and I guess after, if you taste this and it's not, doesn't have enough garlic in it, next time put some more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll. We do the taste <laughs> test. I'm gonna add a little more lemon, I think. Boom, see? Boom, trust me, I know what I'm doing. That's good. Sounds good. Danny looks scared. Yep. <laughs> Happy wife. Happy life. life. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna pour the butter. I melted the butter. I'm gonna pour that in there. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that really melted. Yeah, it will melt as I stir it. Oh my will you gosh. stop? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Knock it off. It's gonna <laughs> melt as I stir. Knock it off. Knock it off. Daniel. Say, Daniel. take it back. No. Take it back. No. I refuse. That actually kind of looks yummy creamy. What accent was that? What? I don't even know. I changed my no. accent. No. <laughs> I don't even know. I change my accents all the time and I don't even know where they come from. It's like the I, heart. They come from the heart. <laughs> Everything comes from the heart, <laughs> I guess. Okay. So that's basically the sauce. <laughs> Guys, I know it doesn't look good, but it is. All right guys, so the next step you're gonna do, you got that all, good thing I have the apron on, wow. Okay, 
So you're gonna just pour this in a baking dish, nine by 13 again, um, before you put the chicken in and just pour it. All right, so there's the sauce. Um, and then you pour it in the dish first and then you're gonna layer the um, chicken on top. Just an even layer of chicken. Um, you don't wanna stack it, so you just kinda go like that, rub it in, rub it in. That is a technique. Rub it in, rub it in. We've got six. Remember this recipe calls for four, but we added a little bit more stuff to it. So um, there's the chicken. So then you're gonna take your um, tool. Your paintbrush. <laughs> your paintbrush. And you're gonna get start your, you know, your creativity. And you're just gonna like take the sauce and rub it on. So take it from the bottom and just rub it all over the chicken. Can you find the bottom? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, and I almost thought that this wasn't gonna be enough juice, but I think it is. Totally, otherwise you can have like, that'll be way too much. That would be much. overkill. So even if it looks like it's like, you're like, okay, that's not gonna be enough. It totally is, look at this. And if you want, you like texture, just throw some Cheetos on top. Oh my gosh, don't what? listen to Daniel. <laughs> Unless you really love Cheetos. <laughs> don't ruin my recipe, boy. Or I know all of our viewers will say, put some breadcrumbs. Look, see what I'm thinking with this brush, you guys? Look how it sticks to it. So I almost feel like the rubber ones, it doesn't maybe do that. So, I don't know, tell me. Yeah, I would say so. And right? we might get a couple hairs in our chicken. Ew. <laughs> maybe this is used for something else. Oh, gosh. You bought it. <laughs> I showed you the picture of the rubber one. Okay, so this is what you do, and you just... Oh, you can put salt and pepper on top, so. Oh yeah, we definitely need that. that. Let me get the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, baby. All right, so now we're just gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper. Oh, on... whoa, 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 slow down there, Turbo. Hey. Too comment. much. Comment, ch -ch -ch -ch. Too much salt can ruin it. Have you ever had a pretzel with too much with salt? With too yeah. much salt? Ugh. This calls, calls for kosher salt, so I got kosher salt. Those real, that's the real big ones, right? Yeah. Real, that one is, yeah. Ugh. It's good. That's right. What are you talking about? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> that is, that's not even that much. Okay, your heart can just chill for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. You could be a little cold hearted right uh, now, please. <laughs> Stop. Look guys, cutting board legit right here. Bam. Yep, that's right. So you're gonna cut a lemon and just cut it into slices like this. And I like to take the seeds out because they bug me. Those are seeds, not bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> not bubbles? Not bubbles. So you just do this and then boom, slap it. Slap it in there with the chicken. There you go. We'll see how this turns out. Take these, let's take these seeds out. They're a de -seeder, like a lemon de -seeder. Or is that me? I think it's your fingers. Look, it makes it look pretty too. Gosh, I'm so fancy. I didn't even know it. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> don't look at me. Look at the food. Look how beautiful. Maybe camera. Well, this one looks food. like it's in it. Look. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's not in it, guys. So then you just slap a few of the lemon on top. Try not to cut yourself. Seriously, slap this one. Like slap it on, no. so we can hear it. What, you want a mess in my house? No, just go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. So then you do that, boom shakalaka, and let me tell you how long you're gonna bake it for. Okay, so you guys are gonna wanna bake this at 450, and then bake it for five minutes, and then take it out, and then you guys are gonna wanna get more of that sauce and brush more of it off. So take it from the bottom, brush it up on top, put it back in for another five to eight minutes, and then do it again. And you're gonna brush it back on, and then you're gonna put it back in um, until your chicken's cooked, which is basically 15 to 18 minutes. So just make sure you guys do that so that the top doesn't like dry out and it's like nice and awesome. Tina will show you. I will show you. So. We will show you guys what it looks like when we put it in and when we take it out. Okay, so we are going to put this in the oven now because it's almost time for dinner. So don't don't forget that when you put it in, after five minutes, you're gonna wanna bring it back out and, and paint it again. So, <laughs> whatever. Paint. 
Butter paint. Paint? Oh, garlic paint. Garlic paint. Oh man, it's garlic. This garlic is strong. She kind of threw in a little extra, extra garlic. I don't think I did though. It looks pretty legit. All right, so that's going in. No tin foil or anything on top. No gloves, nothing either. No. No safety on this channel. No, nope. we don't do it. Kids, don't do this at home. So that's preheated, and then we're lucky because we have two ovens. And so I'm going to put the potatoes in underneath at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes. Let's check these out. Check them out. Ooh, they look way better once they're cooked. On. Yeah, wow. All right. I'll just stick these puppies in here. My arms are so sore from working out. Oh. Okay. There we go. Set your timer. What time is it? 427. <laughs> Set your timer. <laughs> So Set your timer. Do, 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 do. Here. Do, 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 do. Okay, you got it. 427. So, five minutes from now, I will pull this out again and re... Um, Rebutter it. Butter it. No, repaint it. Repaint it with butter. All right, so here we go. Buttering up. Butter baby. Look at that, like Picasso. Picasso. Or Picasa? Uh, mi casa. <laughs> mi casa, Picasa. Mi casa, Picasso. Look at that. Wow. So. Butter water. Then in another eight minutes, we'll do it again. Check it out, dollar store glove. Is it a glove or a mitten or what do you call it? Glove. An oven An mitt. oven mitt. See, I know some yeah. technical terms. Let's see how the potatoes are doing. Oh, they're the same. Ooh, turn the light on. It's the same. Ooh. Ooh. Up. All right, guest appearance. Brayden, yeah, Brayden's hand. Hashtag All right, man. so here we are. What? What are you doing? Buttering it up? Just bu painting it on, guys. Picasa, Picasa. Picasa, Picasa. Wow, those look good. Those do look good, huh? Look at that. Nice, nice and fresh. Amazing. You hungry? Yes. And I'm gonna actually pair both of these up with just a Caesar salad. Just packaged like Caesar salad. You know, the ones that already have like the dressing, the croutons, all of that in there. The just ones that you beautiful. don't have to measure, the ones that you don't have exactly. to make, the ones you just, just squeeze open. it in, stir it up, serve it. Done. Nice. That's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. Okay, guys, so looks like it's all done. The last thing you have to do is um, put tin foil on it and just let it st sit for like 10 minutes. So you're gonna put, we're gonna put tin foil over it, let it sit, and boom, done. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Okay, right. now then the next. And then the potatoes. Oh, these smell good. Oh, I cannot wait. There they that. are, guys. Danny's so excited for these. I am like salivating so, so good. good. So, yeah, funeral. Brayden's excited. Ooh, listen to that. Brain just did a fist pump. Yeah, sizzle, sizzle. Hashtag Braden's fist. Oh man, that looks so good. Alrighty. Okay, so that's it, you guys. That is how you make funeral potatoes and baked lemon chicken. Oh. So let us know if you guys try it out, if you like it, um, any additions to it that you think would be awesome. Okay guys, so send us your recipes, our P.O. box is below. Remember that we are gonna choose some recipes from our P.O. box, anything that gets sent to us, we're gonna randomly pick some recipes and try them out on our Cook With Me's. I feel awesome like yeah, with these that's things. cool. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make them Phillips Fam Bam style. Yes, yes, so, um, and Danny actually will be the next Cook With Me. He's got something really awesome that I think you guys are gonna love coming up. I will just tell you, it has lots of bacon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for cooking with us today, and we'll see you next time. Choose your day.